Local chef Dave Bohati from Market Restaurant joins us this morning to show us his hearty and comfy dressed up wild mushroom mac and cheese, which is a great standby meal that uh, can be ready if you're short on time. And of course, back to school, top of mind. Welcome back. Great to see Thank you. you. Thank uh, you. So people are looking to cut corners, I think, on what they're preparing. But it doesn't have to be your mac and cheese in a box. No, this isn't your typical mac and cheese. And of course, I grew up eating mac and cheese like pretty much every Canadian kid that I know. Uh, this kind of mac and cheese? No, this is like something that metamorphosized over my career, I guess, to turn into something that I would serve at the restaurant. Um, I recently was just uh, invited to do a Dairy Farmers of Canada uh, gig out in Toronto, and we went and hung out there. I met a bunch of cool people. Uh, they asked me to come up with a recipe that's mac and cheese-ish, uh -huh. uses 100% Canadian milk. Uh, I went with Sylvan Star Gouda because I used like oodles of it at the restaurant. How much? How much Gouda did you go at through? At least 10 kg. A, That's a, lot a week, of yeah, yeah. It's okay. on everything. Like I, I, I find it in my pockets. It's really crazy. <laughs> so what we're doing here? Sometimes you gotta stash it. Yeah, for sometimes a snack. you gotta stash it. Uh, I'm doing the recipe here that I developed. Uh, it's been sort of tested and trialed, and and I was lucky enough to, to sort of get to illustrate it and show it off uh, recently in, in Toronto. Yes. Yeah. It is also if you go to uh, the website mm -hmm. uh, for the dairy farmers, uh, all you need is cheese. It's uh, slash cook off. .ca, okay, and, and you can pretty right much here. order. I think I think they'll deliver one of those if you just hit the hit the want button or however you do that. Okay. And then if you're lucky enough to stumble upon it in stores, it's got four great recipes in there, using 100% uh, Canadian milk. Uh, what I'm doing right here is making a classic Mornay sauce. So essentially, Mornay sauce is like a bechamel. It's okay. been thickened with a roux, mm -hmm. some milk, some Canadian 100% milk, and then fold it in. We're gonna mount in our cheese right now, yeah. Sylvan Gouda. Is there a trick to having your sauce not go lumpy? Uh, yeah, it's 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 having the right temperature. It's making sure that your roux is smooth. You can use a hand blender if you want to cheat. You know, right. just put it right in there, yeah. buzz it up. Okay. Uh, it's making sure you know you blonde your roux if you want to get some nice you know developed flavors and this and that. Uh, I'm sautéing some mushrooms right here, some wild ones. Being from BC. Uh, it's like kind of the best of both worlds. So we got the uh, the Alberta uh, cheese, and then we've got the BC mushrooms, and then we got some dressed up uh, farfalle bow tie pasta. Okay. Uh, and so you have a lot of varieties of mushrooms in there, right? Yeah, we've got shimijis, we've got uh, chanterelles, we've got oyster mushrooms. All these are accessible at the farmers market. You just got to look for them. Okay. And you know, if you don't if you don't mind reaching into your pocket every once in a while, spending a bit more than your typical cremini. Yeah. Treat yourself. Cook like we cook. Yeah. You know, or come to the restaurant, I'll cook it for you there. You know, either way. <laughs> that's uh, the way I roll. I snuck this bad boy in this morning. I got and into my car, I left it there last night, I got into my boy. car. Yeah. Really? It was crazy. It was like walking really into crazy. it was like walking into Italy, I guess. Okay, uh, I'm gonna this show is a the black camera. truffle. Okay, fantastic. Um, it's a it's a summer truffle, so the seasons changed with truffles just like mushrooms. Uh huh. And uh, you know, I wasn't I don't even know if I was supposed to bring this, so I don't I just I bring it with me wherever I go. You it's put you pet. put cheese in your pocket and I, truffles <laughs> in your pocket. Yeah. That's no. how a chef, that's how a chef does it. But something like this would have a lot of flavor. I mean, you wouldn't use a whole lot of the truffle, would you? No, nah, just a couple slices will do you. We're we're also using white truffle oil as well. So, you know, you get like again, once I say, you know, best of both worlds. It's always you can't overdo something like that, really. Absolutely. So as you can see, if you're looking into your TV right now, we're getting ooey gooey with our Sylvan Gouda. That looks amazing. And it's pretty much good to go. I'm gonna hit it in the hit it in the plate. Gorgeous. Uh, we're gonna. Put some mushrooms on top. We're gonna so put you some don't arugula. mix the mushrooms in. No, I want I want you to be able to sort of so like if this is a mac and Come cheese, on. you know, like this is this is really good that for you. That is legit. That is deluxe. You there's, don't have to go for no a run. There's no calories in that. No zero. <laughs> and top it off with some of the mushrooms. Yeah. So and then you know we're gonna go to the health healthy part of it right now. We're gonna put a bit of greens, some arugula, some herbage. You know, if you want to put some chopped chives in there, a little rustic feel. Gorgeous. Some arugula to make you feel like, you know, you're not killing yourself, but with the gluttony, you know. Uh, <laughs> the, the, vegetable, then, the vegetables count for something. If you're, you're me, shave. if you're me or you, I'm, yes. I'm guessing you're probably going to want to have this. Yes. You're going to put a couple of fresh Good uh, guess. shaved truffles on there. You're going to make it rain truffle. All right. Spectacular. And then, of course, white truffle. Oh, let's get serious here. So like let's not even let's not even be shy. You want to dress those greens, Lux. right? <laughs> you need some more oil on the mac and cheese with that amount exactly. of cheese. 
Spectacular, Chef. Uh, this is the final plating here. It is the dressed up wild mushroom mac and cheese. That is not your hot dogs and ketchup mac and cheese, my friend. No, and you know the best thing about pasta and the best thing about mac and cheese? Everybody knows you can make a casserole with it the next day. Right. Just like an old school spaghetti. You can put it in the fridge, put some more cheese on top of it, put some, you know, breadcrumbs if you want, shove it right back in that oven, turn the football game on, relax. Kids are off to school. You got the leftovers. Get on. Yeah. That's how it goes. Gorgeous. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, time to check in with Dave.